Hey, Onyx here. So before we get into today's video, I want to remind you I am not a mental health professional. Do not use this to self-diagnose. This is for learning purposes only. So today's video is about tics and Tourette's. Yes, I know. Tics and Tourette's is technically a neurological issue and not mental health, but I still found it appropriate and important to talk about. Um, so... It goes along with some mental health issues, which is one of the reasons that I found it important to talk about, and we will get more into that in a minute. Um, so you might be wondering what tics are. Tics are pretty much just changes in parts of the brain that control movement and speech. It is involuntary, obviously. Um, the dictionary definition is a habitual spasmatic con concentration of the muscles, most often in the face. Oh, contraction, <laughs> not concentration. I can't talk. Um, so it doesn't mention vocal tics, but they are valid and real. There is no cure, but medicine and removing yourself un from unnecessary stressful situations can help with tics. You can grow out of tics, um, but that is over a long period of time and it happens slowly. Um... And one third of children with Tourette's will grow out of it by adulthood. Um, well, like early adulthood. One third of children will have lesser symptoms by early adulthood. And only one third of children with it will continue to have severe symptoms by early adulthood. So what causes it? Well, it's believed to be hereditary. Other causes can be stress. Um, yeah. The two types of tics are motor and vocal. Motor are movement and vocal are words, obviously. Why you can have tics where you curse is believed to be damage to the part of the brain that normally that deals normally with anger and aggression where you curse. Because cursing is vocal aggression. Tics such as head jerking can be painful, but it is uncommon for it to be painful, but not unheard of. You can develop tics with no recorded history of tic-like behavior, but it is not Tourette's if that is the case. And it happens over a long period of time and slowly. Tourette's are tics that happen before the age of 18. Tics that occur after 18 are not considered Tourette's. Tic disorder happening after the age of 18 is uncommon, but not unheard of. Even if you don't have Tourette's, vocal and motor um, are still the tics that you will have if you get, if you have like tic disorder or something like that. Um, you know, because, like, what else are you able to do, really, honestly? It is more common in males than females. Ticks are quite common in teenagers. An estimated half million children have ticks. Children being people under the age of 18, not, like, people under the, like, 12 and under, you know, because that's not really how we're counting this. Um, it is estimated that ticks occur in over 10 to every 1,000 people. Not all of them have Tourette's. Tourette's is common with disorders such as anxiety, depression, ADHD, autism spectrum disorder, behavioral problems such as ODD or CD, developmental delays, intellectual disabilities, learning disorders, obsessive compulsive behaviors, speech or language disorders. And if you have one of these, it does not mean you have Tourette's. And if you don't have any, it also does not mean you don't. Only a neurologist can be the judge of whether or not you have them. Remember, I am not a mental health professional or a doctor. Do not use this to self-diagnose. Um, Tourette's are a very serious thing. Um, it is believed that you have a certain gene that will give you Tourette's um, if you have it. Um, you could be a carrier of it and not have it. Um, and you could pass it to your children if you do have it. Um, but most people who have Tourette's will live fairly normal and good lives. I mean, it, um, yeah, it's serious and everything, but, uh, you can definitely live a normal life and have Tourette's. Um, that's a very real thing. Um, the next video is going to be about ticks and Tourette's again. Um, we're going to do a little, I guess you can call it a mini series over ticks and Tourette's. Uh, we might do like another one or two videos eventually over ticks and Tourette's. I'm not sure really what we're going to do. You guys can, uh, you know, uh, let us know videos that you want to hear. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, that's it.
Bye.